Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on the Team Gulle channel. As you can see, it's Levi here again. And as you also can see, we are joined by the man himself, Ruud Gullit. So let's jump straight into the video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you everything about shooting. So after this video, you will know the ins and outs about shooting in the AFC 24. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the Trifella shot. In my opinion, it's the best type of shooting this year outside the box but something a lot of people don't know is that it is really good inside the box as well you perform the trifella shot just by holding l2 and pressing your circle button as you can see in this clips the shot is very powerful but the thing that makes the shot as good as it is is the curve because if you shoot the trifella shot the shot will have power it will have curve so it's basically unsavable for the goalkeeper and for me the most special thing about the Trifella shot is that it even is really good with players who don't have good shooting. Like for example, your fullbacks can shoot the Trifella from outside the box. But if you shoot a normal shot with one of your fullbacks, even inside the box, it has a really low chance of going in. And that's the thing that makes the Trifella really special, in my opinion. Then the second shooting type we're gonna talk about is just the regular shot. You perform it by just pressing down your circle button and you don't do anything else. It's probably the most common finish there is and throughout the years it has been the most consistent as well. As you can see in some of these clips, the finish you get from the regular shot is just what you want. Sometimes you don't know whether you should perform a finesse shot maybe or a tuvela. If you're not sure what to do, I can recommend you to just go for the regular shot. It's always good, it has always been good and it will always be good. Something that gives the regular shot a boost obviously is the timed shooting. We've talked about this earlier and I will keep saying it, timing your shots green is something really important and especially for the Trifella, the Finesses and obviously for the regular shot. As you can see, if you time it green, it just flies in top bins. The regular shot is also just used for the most common finishes, so that means tap pins, headers, maybe some difficult follies, just use the regular shot for those type of chances. Then the next shooting type we're gonna talk about is really interesting since this year. It has been introduced two or three years ago, I think, and it's the power shot. But obviously this year they introduced the power shot plus playstyle, which makes the power shot better than ever. You perform the power shot by holding L1 and R1 at the same time while pressing your shooting button. As you can see in these clips, most of the times it's Mbappe where I shoot the power shot with and it's just incredible. It's obviously the most powerful shot we've ever seen in any FIFA. It's just unsafeable at some points. I would recommend to use it outside the box most of the times because the aiming of the shot will be more manual once you are inside the box. Obviously it can still be good inside the box, but I believe that if you time a regular shot green, it will almost have the same effect than if you do a power shot. You can do the power shot from everywhere on the pitch as well. That means even with your midfielders, when you're maybe 25, 30 yards away from the goal, if you just try a power shot, sometimes it will fly in, and in worst case you will get a corner kick, which are very overpowered as well this year. So make sure you make use of the power shot. We've talked about the Trifella already, but the opposite of a Trifella obviously is a finesse, which has been incredible for over the past few seasons, but this year it's back and maybe even better than ever. If you time green, it will just fly in every time into the top bin. You perform the finesse shot, as you guys probably know, by holding R1 while pressing your shooting button. Something a lot of people don't know is that Using a finesse can be a pretty good option as well once you're inside the box. Sometimes when you maybe have a hard angle to score short post or maybe far post with a regular shot, you should go for a finesse shot. Most of the times obviously to the far post. If you want to go for the short post, I would go for a trivella. But as I said, when you want to go for the far post, you could try a finesse as well inside the box. Same as for all the others, if you time it green, it will be perfect. So make sure you practice green timing on these finesses as well. Then we jumping over to some shooting types I would not recommend to use this year. The first one I'm gonna talk about is the chip shot. You perform the chip shot by holding L1 while pressing your shooting button. Obviously it's fancy to score a chip, but to be honest, it's not the best way of finishing. It never has been and it also isn't in FC24. So just avoid to use the chip shot if you are in a close game or something. Then the last shooting type in this video is the low driven. Last year we saw the low driven being really really overpowered. Same as it was in FIFA 19 or 20 I think, correct me if I'm wrong. But this year 
it's just useless. Make sure you don't use the load driven. If you want to know how to perform it, you perform it by just tapping the circle button a little bit, but I would not recommend to use the load driven. Just make use of the Trivella, the regular shot, the finesse, and obviously, especially when you have players with the power shot plus placed on your squad, make use of the power shot. I hope I helped you guys with this video. Make sure to leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.